Well, I, I initially start out um, my sessions with just logic and reason. Um, then I get all the individual control of velo velocities in here as well as all the pitches and stuff in here as well. So I got the kicks running into their own bus, which is creating the side chain on this. Uh, take, making the chops of all the chords, which I've done here. So the combinator is just running out in reason. It looks a bit daunting um, that I used before as well. I just really bring out a lot in the top end and down the bottom as well. To be honest, it's probably filled off that bottom. But normally I have to kind of adjust 16K a bit. It depends what hi hats you're using. I've got the master bus compressor as well. Um, which gives it just a beautiful roundedness. And again, when I had it on the original, without it being an audio files, it sounded quite disgusting running through the master bus. And just there, just kind of like with this drone note right at the top, right at the end of the track. I find it a lot, a lot easier when I'm just kind of seeing everything like this and you see the transients and you see all the waveforms and everything. You, it all makes sense to me then. My out, um, the master bus or the SSLG, just with a, the SSLG is quite good actually with its compressor. Um, it's quite soft. With the bass in there, it just kind of, so the bass hits and then the swell kind of starts after it. I trust them a lot more. It's the same with the API 2500 compressor as well that comes with it. That's a bit too harsh for me as well. I don't get too much control. But when, when it was sent off to Spike Stent, he just really did exactly what was needed on that, on the subby bass, and it just kind of engulfs your ears when you're listening to it. It's beautiful.